Yeah, you know, I just wanted to remind you guys of the existence of this video right here. <clears throat> nothing, nothing to see here. Never mind, there is a lot to see here. Jesus Christ. Yes, definitely one of the worst landings captured on camera. Yes. Yeah, welcome everybody back on board a very exotic airplane, everybody. The McDonnell Douglas MD-11. A plane that isn't very old, but is being retired a lot right now. For example, Lufthansa Cargo is retiring this plane right now. Even though it's, again, it only came out in the 1990s. It isn't really old. You can see that here in the rather modern screen. This looks like a, you know, everybody's cockpit, really. Yeah, let me just tell you, this plane, well, it isn't the most successful plane ever. It's, it's definitely not the, you know, historically most important plane. It's not many people's favorite plane, and it's definitely not many pilot's favorite plane. Yes, indeed, the MD-11 has a reputation for being extremely hard to fly. Why is there a tractor here? That makes no sense at all. We're at an international airport. Thank you. Yes, I mean, it's mentioned in pilot's blogs and, you know, forums everywhere that the MD-11 is rather hard to fly as pilots or definitely different to fly to other airplanes. Right, it has a lot of power and it is fun to fly, but especially its landing behavior is different to other aircraft. The MD-11, everybody, is known to be a hard lander. Yeah, nothing to say right here. This is uh, the KLM passenger MD-11. I can see there's a bouncing compilation here. That is very nice. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, not very controllable, that's for sure. And even I here in the flight simulator have never been able to actually make a smooth MD-11 landing. I mean, you can try it. All right, let's do this. Now, to be honest, I haven't really been smart with the choice of airports here. This is Kai Tak. You know, a place where the MD-11 used to often come in, which is a combination that doesn't really work well because this is a very hard to land at airport with a very hard to land plane right here. Let's try this. Here we go. There's something you do have to do on the MD-11. By the way, we've got no winds here, so this makes this a bit easier. We still have to fly at a very fast speed. Here we go, like 100... Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's come down. That's come down like a rock. That's kind of the thing of the MD-11. It flies like a rock. That kind of actually does make sense, doesn't it? I mean, you know, this was the reason that <clears throat> the MD-11 was more successful as a cargo plane. Just uh, lands too hard. Maybe that's the reason. Good one. Yeah, you know, let me tell you, especially new pilots who are used to other planes will be especially lost with flying this. I mean, you know, one of the reasons why this plane apparently flies a bit, you know, strange and unstable is the very small vertical stabilizer. And that's just something I've just noticed right here. Even though that's something that shouldn't make that big of a difference. One of the problems apparently about this plane is its Alsace system that it has. I've been trying to find out what this LSAS even is. Yeah, I have no idea about the engineering of the MD-11, obviously, but it's a Wikipedia article about relaxed stability. You know, it's all about stability of the plane that is apparently lacking here on the MD-11. And we have a we have an unstable aircraft section. The MD-11 is mentioned here, right? Yes, indeed, this LSAS thing is apparently a stability design which was to ensure uh, stability for safe flight, LSAS, which is Longitudinal Stability Augmentation System. It also introduced to compensate for the rather short horizontal stabilizer, indeed. So it is, after all, a problem of these um, ti tiny little wings. Liter literally, these are pretty tiny, indeed. Probably because of this huge engine, of course. Right, but, you know, this kind of system can go wrong a lot of times. However, there have been incidents in which the MD-11 relaxed stability caused an in-flight upset. Great. I mean, this sounds good. I mean, we know we have a classic case of a computer not really working to stabilize the airplane. I don't know where we've seen that before. But yes, indeed, that's apparently the reason why this MD-11 sucks to handle. Oh, God. You know, I'd rather be on board like a 747 right now, a plane that, you know, handles terrifically. This is just trash. No, it is fun to fly this plane for sure. Well, I do have to say, the GPWS columns kind of do demotivate you. Jesus Christ. 150, 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh, that was actually a hard landing. Once again, thank you very much. Very good landing there, Swiss is there, one. Good one. Yeah, also the nose of the MD-11 looks quite weird. I just wanted to mention that. Right, check that out. That, um, that wasn't good. 
Great one. But you know, of course, it gets a whole lot worse when there is winds involved, everybody, especially crosswinds. See, I talked to an MD-11 pilot, you know, now former MD-11 pilot, about um, how the plane performs in windy situation. Not good. Not good. So wait, let's go ahead and add some winds. Here we go. Straight crosswind with a speed of 20 knots. You know, something that does happen occasionally. A little bit of turbulence. A little bit of gust speed. Nothing to see. Just a bit of windy situation out here in the desert. Right, uh, nothing, nothing to see right here. Everything's good. Three engines are running. This now land this very delicate plane. You know, you have to really be careful here. Nothing to see. Nothing to worry about. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. This plane truly has a mind of its own. Right, this is not that bad of... Of turbulence. Ah! Okay, nothing to worry about. Nothing to see. This will be, this will be, this is going well. This is going to definitely. Yes. Smooth touchdown, as always. Oh my god, we're wasted. All right! I mean, that was a normal Kai Tak, Alitalia kind of landing. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Oh god. Let's not run off the runway. Or this is truly a bit. Okay, I've completely crashed the MD 11. I just wanted to mention that right here. Yeah, not, not, not an easy task, this one. That's for sure. Yeah, you know, I've definitely had more stable approaches at 18 knots. In other planes, of course. Um, then this, this has not been, that's not going very well. Yeah. See, not a very old, stably flying aircraft. We've literally crashed this now. I just want to mention that. This is going, this, this is going very well. Welcome aboard the MD-11, everybody. By the way, for some reason, there's a, there's been a door open all the time now. That's, uh, that's very good. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tire smoke is something you often see. That's what I can say about the MD-11. Great one! Says everybody, the McDonnell Douglas MD-11. I don't know how many MD-11 I said in this video, by the way. Yeah, you know, this plane wasn't the most successful at all. Even though well, this plane was incredibly hard to land, it wasn't really the reason it kind of flopped. The MD-11, right, only 200 of these were built, which is, by the way, a very ridiculously low amount. You know, there are other reasons why this plane kind of failed, but, you know... Definitely, there are pilots that fear this plane, especially captains, when, you know, an unexperienced first officer flies the plane and crashes it into Kai Tak. That's going very well. So yeah, guys, that's the MD-11 for you. Um, well, it's dead anyway. Who cares? Thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Altitude. <laughs> Autopilot. Cabin altitude. <laughs>